so uh, how many people out here know that I have this weird obsession with killing myself on stage? Yep. All right, now you do know. But what, you, what you don't know is that uh, I also want to have myself cremated and the ashes used to grow marijuana. Think of the advertising possibilities. I smoked myself so you can smoke yourself. I blow my brain so you can do the same. Gives a whole new meaning to the term turn in, tune in, turn on, and drop out. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the numbers who were committing atrocities? They were guilty of crimes against humanity and a crime by <laughs> war crimes. The prosecution had a prime example of a prima facie case. None of this would have ever happened had it not been for the Prime Minister. The crimes were very real and not imaginary indeed. <laughs> Help! I just 30 by bands and now I can't stop chanting. Help! I just 30 by bands and now I think my arm's a violin. Help! I just 30 by bands and now I can't help but to diddle my fiddle. I am not surprised that went wrong. <laughs> hey, here's some advice. Get, yeah, right. Uh, here's some advice. Get high. Diversify when you gentrify. Do math. <laughs> Waste not, want not. That's why I have a beer gut. So, uh, I like to watch feminists argue about pornography. It's great, because half of them think that pornography is empowering, the other half think that pornography is enslaving. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in my corner thinking I'm masturbating regardless. Okay, but no, seriously, my love life is like what I am to my father, a disappointment. No, my love life is more like what my dad is to me, absent. Actually, my love life is more like this. I wake up in the morning by 9 o'clock, I'm half cocked and ready to rock. Nice. But by 9 p.m., I'm fully cocked and looking for a sock. <laughs> I think I figured out the secret to Minnesota driving. The, the starting part, we got figured out just fine, but the stopping part, we're mad though. I like pulling the stop request button uh, from underneath people. So like when people are like on the bus and are about to pull the stop request, I do it ahead of them. I like to see the look of befuddlement and confusion and disappointment and sorrow in their faces. It just tickles my fancy, I guess I'm going to say this to them. So sympathetic like that, I guess. Some people say life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> You never know what you're going to get. But I say, life is like FCC rule part 15. This device must accept harmful interference. This device cannot admit harmful interference. I'm not surprised that went bombed here. <laughs> All right, I think Larry David did acid, and that explains Seinfeld. I mean, think about it. A Jewish man from New York does a bunch of acid, has a bad trip, and then he convinces a television network to spend all this untold billions of dollars, and all this fanfare, a couple of, what is it, Oscars, Emmys, whatever, later, everyone forgets that Jerry Seinfeld didn't need Jeffrey Epstein to get a 17-year-old. Oh! I have no opinion on that, I really don't, but whatever. Alright, fuck it, I'm leaving it there. Ski, everyone! <laughs>